video here at Earn Your Gold Medal. Today we're going to be going over a very basic but effective technique from Zach Sherman. He likes to go double leg into some form of body lock. Um, he's a D1 All-American for the University of North Carolina. He's a very good wrestler. Well, let's get right into it. He goes double, opponent gets on the hook. So you know when, you, when they get that on the hook, it's very hard to drive through. Some wrestlers like the Jordan Burroughs are explosive enough to do it, um, but most are not. So what he does is besides just not getting the takedown, he just goes up with it and locks his hands. Gets that butterfly grip. And that's when he elevates him off the ground and gets his points. College, because it's four back points for four seconds and six points, high school would be five. Folks, I mean, freestyle would be four. So in this example, he actually beats the opponent's hands, and the opponent isn't able to get the underhook, but the opponent is able to get their hips back, and get their legs back. So he just get a regular body lock, no over under. And same thing as last time, he elevates them. Then return them to the mat for six points. Again, folk style, it'd be five points. We start probably would be a pin right here, <laughs> honestly. The 22 edition of the ACC Wrestling Championships, one day of wrestling entertainment. Looking forward to it as we go back to action. 149 and some early fireworks from Sherman as he was able to catch Jared for clearing on his back. Now this is this guy used to be the starter for Penn State a few years ago for people who've been watching college wrestling for a few years, and then he transferred for whatever reason. I like this example because double, beats the hands, kind of turns his hip to the side for clearing. So similar position, but this time, you know, I always want to show an example where everything doesn't go 100% perfect because when you're on the mat, you can be tired. The other guy is also pretty good. There's just a number of things that go into it that every single time you try to perform a technique, it isn't going to go 100% your way. So in this example, he doesn't even like his hands all the way. And he still is able to, I'm sure he's squeezing them really hard to keep them in place. But he still is able to pick them up and get the takedown. This example, this example is also different as he doesn't get the actual body lock. He just gets regular over-unders. So he shoots the double, gets caught by this underhook. I zoomed in so y'all can see the underhook that he got caught by. And the opponent also gets their hips back. So he's not able to lock his hands, right? Look how far back the opponent's hips and legs are um, and how almost horizontal his torso is instead of vertical. So he doesn't, he's not able to get the body lock. However, over under is still a dangerous position. So he goes regular hip toss. And not only does he get six points, he gets the pin and it's a match all together. So um, I love the leg attack to body lock. Cal Dake is really good at it. I think guy, Josh Edmond from Missouri is really good at it. It's a lot of guys who's pretty good at it. Um, I think if you like shooting doubles, it's definitely something that you should add to your game. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out about it. This is kind of an introduction to that series. Um, I like doing Sh Zach Sherman because just looking at him, he isn't super athletic as far as quickness and speed, which you expect from guys like James Green, Jordan Burroughs, um, Miles Martin, things of that nature. So that's why I show him because his double is a little bit slower. So he's going to get caught more often, but being the great wrestler that he is, he found a way to capitalize off of being caught in his double because a double is just two points. This, 
Niners opponent then gave up six points or maybe even the entire match. But this was a great second move that he developed. So at the end there, I kind of made a point about the torso angle um, that I didn't think about until I was recording it, but I didn't want to just leave it in the air. I kind of wanted to explain what I was thinking about. So as you can see in the first pitch that I have from the first clip, when Zach Sherman shoots the double and the opponent defends it, the opponent's torso is 100% vertical. It's almost like he's standing straight up, right? The reason why this is is because Zach Sherman's hands got on the legs. So in this example, Zach Sherman is pretty deep in and that's why the opponent isn't able to get his legs back and his hips back. This is the ideal position of going double to body lock. If you can get this position, this is this is great, right? Um, so even with that underhook, because his legs are sucked in, making him 100% vertical, it was easy to go body lock, pick him up, stick him to his back. In the second picture, you will see an example from that same match um, in the second period where the opponent is ready for it, right? You learn as the match goes on. So this time, Zach Sherman isn't able to get his hands on the legs at all. And he still gets caught by on the hook this time. So in this example, this is when Zach Sherman had to go regular over under position. Because it, it would have been impossible for him to lock his hands in this position. But he went over on the hip toss and was still able to get the pin. And this is because, part of this is because, again, the underhook, but in the first picture, he also had the underhook. So what made the difference was able to get his hips back. You can see that his torso is more diagonal, closer to horizontal, than just 100% vertical. Now you say, okay, in the second picture, his torso angle is the same as the guy in the third picture. And in, in the third picture, he was able to get the body lock. Here's are the two main differences. Difference number one, in the second picture, he has an underhook on the right side. You can't see it in that picture, but I highlighted it in the video. In the third picture, then Zach Sherman is underneath both arms. They were, he did not get beat by the hands defense. He's underneath both arms. Also, last thing, in the second picture, the opponent is low. He's on the ground. Zach Sherman can't build up the same way as he can in the third picture. In the third picture, as you can see, the opponent is standing up. Zach Sherman is in great position. So as he's standing up, he's pushing his head against the opponent's chest and he's using his hands to suck in the opponent's hips. And then he creates that vertical position in the first picture and that is why he is also able to pick him up in the body lock position and return him to the mat for six points, for a takedown in the back points. So I just wanted to highlight that because I didn't say it in the video and I just wanted to make sure that I was explaining this as I had brought it up. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.